Hello everybody, welcome to yet another strange indie horror game. This time I'm playing something called Night Freak, which is on itch.io. I put a link in the description for it. Um, I think it was like a pound or something. And I'm going to just jump in. It looks, I had a quick look at the page. It looks like a, a third person survival horror type of experience. So I'm quite interested in that. I do like my old school survival horror games. Lovely. I'm I'm loving the style of it. I mean, yeah, it does have that v VHS look that a lot of games have, but I don't know. It feels like they've done a little bit extra to get that atmosphere in there. These credits and the music and everything. Liking it so far. I'm hoping it's good. A haunted horror story. Okay. Right. I'm ready. Let's go. Night Freak. Salisbury, 2002. Okay, so it's not controller, it's, it is keyboard and mouse, good. I forgot to say goodbye to mom and dad. Oh damn, Jeff must be watching TV right now. I'm going to miss my favourite cartoon. Why is he saying mom and dad in an American way, whereas it was in Salisbury, which sounds like it should be the UK. Oh god. Okay, so it's proper tank controls, I'm... That's quite cool. Um, what's to what's to interact then? Nothing interesting here. Okay. Okay. Some cool stuff here. Okay, good. Oh, there's the liquor cabinet. Yes. Once I took a little sip of Daddy's drink when he wasn't looking, and I think it was spoiled. <laughs> it's locked. Okay, our mission is to get into that liquor cabinet. I'll have a bit more of Daddy's drink. We don't need to use Dad's computer. Alright, okay. I, I like the style of it. It looks quite quite funky. A lot of games try and emulate that PlayStation 1 style, don't they? I recently played through um, Silent Hill 1 again on Twitch. And, uh, you know, I realised how... How these games try to emulate the look of the PlayStation 1, but don't really succeed. That's... There's just something about the original games where it's just really hard to capture it. They've tried to do it with all like the wonky looking... You see how the textures are kind of wobbling all over the place, but... You know, you, you can you can kind of tell it's... Um, oh, we'll be back tomorrow at 2pm. Okay. I don't want to come back to a messy house. You really need to go? I don't want to be here alone, says Jimmy. I have to attend Uncle Joe's funeral, and your aunt needs support at this difficult time. While we're away, your brother will take care of you. We are late. We have to go. I don't like the way the G looks like a 9. We have to 90. Bye bye. Yeah, I was going to say, the wobbly texture effect. It's not... You, you can tell it's put on, you know what I mean? Same as like the VHS effect. But still, it still looks cool. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying they never quite get the PS1 style exactly right, do they? Hi, Jeff. 
I don't have time for you now, brat. I have to prepare things for the party. Party? Can I go? The party will be here, idiot. Ooh, he's rude. When it starts, you better not leave your bedroom. My party will be in the treehouse. I built it with my grandfather last year. Hasn't the city hall torn down that piece of crap yet? Well, he's rude, isn't he? Typical older brother. Better start getting ready for the party. I can download some games on Dad's computer. Okay. So our little treehouse party we're going to have on our own. Okay, this sounds like a lot of fun. Feels more like a Japanese game. I don't know why. Something about the look of it feels like a... Some kind of weird Japanese game that didn't... You know when you hear about these games that didn't get released in Europe or America? Only existed in Japan. Uh, okay. Um, let's go on the internet. Search www. Um, Rotten.com. Of course. Hmm. Games. Ah, here we go. World of Goblins. Uh, okay, perfect. Thousand, ten thousand games in one. Aha! Here we go. This is this is exactly what we need. Perfect. This doesn't seem dodgy at all. This seems absolutely perfect. Hooray! There we go. Um, insert a disc. Oh crap! Where am I going to find a CD? I don't know. In in the in the drawer. Let's have a look. Let's have a look in here. N nope. I said before that um, every horror game has a toilet in it somewhere. I also reckon most horror games have endless opening and closing of drawers. And it only seems, I mean, I, I think the whole walking simulator thing started that trend. Ah, yes, now we can go down here. Okay, okay, we're in the cellar. This is where the spooky stuff happens. Locked cabinets. Absolute crap down here, isn't it? Just loads of rubbish. Oh, here we go. Small key. Perfect. Maybe this opens the cabinet over here. Let's have a look. It's locked. Um, ah, hey, here we go. Hmm. Oh, look, I've got a, got a torch clipped to me. Ah, okay, this one. This might be good. Aha! There we go. Yep. Mm-hmm, I've seen those drawers. There's nothing in them. Thank you. Ah. My dear, you forgot the combination to that damn safe again. The technician was able to op open it because you didn't change the... F Change the combination to 69845. 69845. Remember that, viewer. Remember that, please, everybody. Let's 
six nine eight four five. Perfect. Oh, his old credit card. Maybe I could, uh, maybe I could buy something online with that. Let's have a go. Phone's ringing. Where is it? I'll get it, don't worry. Hello? Hello, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, it's Dad. Can you pass the phone to your mum, please? Wait, you went out with her, didn't you? You two went out together. Oh, what's going on? Did you get lost, Dad? <laughs> oh, no, God, that's that's kind of creepy. <laughs> okay. That, that is... That's slightly unsettling. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to think. That was a very odd phone call. <laughs> I wonder if I could use the credit card to unlock one of the doors. Try that, maybe. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Sneaky sneaks. Not the first time he's done that, is it? All right, good. Wonder if I could do the same old credit card trick on the uh, liquor cabinet up there. Maybe. Oop. Don't run into the wall. Yeah, oh yeah, here we go. What a sneaky little bastard, isn't it? It's not the first time he's done that, I can tell. Bourbon, nice choice. Perfect. Here we go, here we go. I don't know. Okay, I can put the things he needs on there. Uh-huh. A bit of Jim Beam. And the red sippy cups. Nice. There we go. Perfect. Look at this. You're not such an idiot after all, I know. Okay, we've got the CD. We've got what we need. Let's go. Let's get them games burned on. Totally legit games. I'm sure they're all amazing. I've got to say I'm enjoying this game. It's not too spooky yet, but... Oh. It's got a good feel to it. Uh, that, that, that phone call unsettled me. Oh, this is a fast burner as well. Perfect. Right. Now let's go for our party. Oh, God. Jeff's got the... Oh, what's that there? There's some kind of note. What's this? 
Dear resident, an incident has been reported at your local zoo where a tiger has managed to escape from its confinement area. We strongly re recommend that as a safety precaution you keep the windows of your vehicle properly closed at all times. Strange message from City Hall. Get the hell out of here, right, okay. What are we gonna do? Party time. I'm gonna have our own party in the treehouse, apparently. Here we go. We just he's just letting us go outside. Hmm, a package from the delivery man. It's Chester. There's Andy Bear. Okay. Nice. All right, we've got Andy Bear. Now, where's that treehouse? I hope no tigers come and attack us. I'm guessing it's around the back. What? There's a tree here. There's a shed. Try and jimmy every single door I see to try and get in there. Hold on, let's go back out here. This might be how you get to this, this little entrance here. I see this. Yeah, I don't, don't know, I don't know what it is about this game, but it's it's got a vibe to it that I'm really enjoying. It's just got a feeling of it's something I can't describe. You know, I, I do play a lot of games that have this sort of VHS overlay look, and I've, I've seen quite a lot of games that do this sort of PS1 type of thing. And a lot of the time, it's sort of much of a muchness. Is that a sentence that makes sense? It's just a bit sort of a... Uh, but I'm really enjoying the, the vibe of this game, actually. I'm glad I cleaned this place up this morning. I think I have everything I need for the night. This guy, this kid's just got the whole thing rigged up. Out in the woods behind his house. Okay. Andy Bear, you, you can sit there and... What have we got? The old laptop for our games. We've got the PS1 there. Oh, nice. What's this here? Picture of some pumpkins. Alright, so... Oh. Maybe it's... Maybe it's goes in the PlayStation. That'd be weird. Um, yeah, this kid must have a dodgy PlayStation. He's definitely got it modded so he can play. Yeah. He would have had to get that. I remember you had to... There were, there were dodgy geezers around who would mod your PlayStation so you could play like foreign games on it and stuff. Oh, it said 10,000 games. Right, I guess we're going to play Rad Roller then. Here we go. A box is found on the side of the bed. They're new roller skates. It's skating. Okay, cool. Yes. Looks like, um... Looks like Wallace from Wallace and Gromit, doesn't it? That character. Some creaking going on. What's going on behind me here? If there's any tigers coming to attack me, please don't. I'm playing Rad Roller. Yeah, this is this is great. This is the kind of party I wanted to be at. I don't need no bourbon. Don't need no... Uh, no Jim Beam or uh, Red Sippy Cups. Just, just 
the rad roller on me dodgy modded PlayStation. Oh, there's, there's a car. You've become a professional ro professional roller skater. That's all it took. Looks like the game crashed. Jeff must have given me a scratch CD. That asshole. Oh, it's not. It's not the dodgy game that you. Yeah, click reset. It's not the dodgy download that you got. What was that? I don't know. Oh. The bear has a... A camera in its eyes, does it? Ah, oh, nice. Mmm. I don't want to go... I, I want to go... I want to play a bit more. Hey, I want to play a bit more on my PlayStation, to be honest. I'm not bothered about looking at that camera. But fine. Fine then. Okay. If that's what the game wants me to do. <laughs> Let's have a look. Okay. Looks like it'll take a while. Let's gonna just play a bit more gaming. Come on. Oh, now... Oh, Rad Racer's gone. Damn it. Fine. Trap falls it is. Here we go. I really like that Rad Racer game. You screwed up again, and now you're going to be grounded. No Halloween for you this year. Oh, no. You wake in the middle of the night to strange noises. A crack has suddenly appeared in the wall. You can't sleep now. I've saved some candy for you. Jump out the window and follow the trail. Okay. Ow! 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 Okay, this one's even better than Rad Racer. Oh! Aye! Nice! Okay, here we go. Oh, damn it! Okay. Perfect. Bloody man traps. Who put these here? Okay, this is fun. I like this game. Ow! Ay! Didn't even touch it that time. Ay! I like the way he drops off like underneath the screen. Ah, oh, God, this one's tricky. Oh, there we go. It's really slidey. It's hard to describe the controls for this game. Oh, I saw that hole. The game's trying to trick me here. Damn it. Come on. Oh. Ah, the treehouse. Oh, oh I found all that good. There we go. Nice. Just check on the laptop. 
still going, bloody hell. Oh, look at this. What's going on? There's a key to the shed in the backyard. I must have left it here this morning. Okay, so he wants me to go back to the shed. Well, I guess I can. Can't believe this kid's kid. I mean, it was a different time back then, wasn't it? But I don't know. Trying to, I was trying to figure out what year this would be. Because it's kind of... The technology seems a bit sort of... 2000s-y, 2002, 2000... No, that, that kind of era. But it's, the game's going for like a more of a... 1996, 97 vibe. You know? Like that, that camera I found was definitely something I reckon I had, you know, in the early 2000s. Okay, just, just wanted me to run away from the treehouse for a bit. Fine. Most of these indie horror games I download are just really short experiences, but I've been playing for like, I don't know, like 40 minutes now. And, um, you know, I didn't expect it to go for this long, but um, oh, there's a new game to play. So, when you're watching this back, I'll have cut down all the travel time between places just to make the video a bit shorter, but... Um, yeah, I'm, I am enjoying this. It's got a good vibe to it. Right, so, another game here. Ah, Yunder Rab, yes. I know this very well. Mm-hmm. Ready. I know how to play this one. Yeah, there's the guy. A lonely boy finds a teddy bear in the woods. That's Andy Pandy. My mother used to watch that. She used to love it. Andy Pandy and Little Ted. Mm, now footsteps going to the door. That was rude Andy Bear. No matter how loud the boy screamed, he kept being dragged away. Shit. Oh, that was I was getting into that to be honest. Oh well. Oh here we go. Oh it has done it, okay. Alright, let's see what we've got on the bear cam. <laughs> I think I peed my pants. Let's have a look again. I don't want to look at it, he says. Shit, get out of here. Get out of here, kid. Oh, what was that? Did he fall? Oh, no! Get back to the house, kid. Oh, something bad's going up and... Oh, no. It's getting... Oh, it's getting spooky now. What happens if I go off the trail? Can I just go off into the woods? Nah. Nah. Damn it. Come on, use your old trick. Nope. So... <clears throat> Let's try getting into the basement then. Come on then. Let's go in the basement. Ah, look. A saw. That thing. 
pliers. That's what those are called. Yes, I know tools. I'm very good at using tools. Well, let's see if we can get that padlock open. Yes, the music, the sound in this game is a very silent hill. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a boiler, that ambience, but it sounds very like a silent hill type of sound effect. Yeah, ooh. It's got, it's got really good sound design in this game. It's empty. What? Nick that bottle of Jim Beam and it will be all right. All your troubles will go away. Jeff, are you here, Jeff? It's it. What the hell is it? Oh Jesus! Oh my God, that scared me. Oh shit! Oh my God, that actually made me jump. Oh <laughs> God. What is this place? Oh my god. Oh god, is that... Oh, lovely. Alright, well, I think that's a good place to end it. I don't know how long the game is, but... I just wanted to show off the game. I don't want to play all the way through and spoil it, but maybe I'll play this on a stream sometime because this is really cool, actually. It might, I might be right near the end for all I know, but um, yeah, I really like the vibe of this game. I think they've really done a good job. So many of these indie games where they try to be like an old school PS1 horror game and a lot of them don't put quite enough effort in, but this one has done a really good job and I think the atmosphere is spot on with this game. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching this, and um, this has been Night Freak. Recommended. I will put a link in the description to it. Go check it out. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.